You're not going into this week like thinking about what happened when you were 13. I got something for regret. It's called Apocaradokia. I turned my head from that. If I think about that too long, I get depressed. If I think about that too long, I start getting bitter. If I look over here, I might get jealous. If I look over there, I might get discouraged. So I got to stretch my head toward my future in faith. I will. I will. I will rejoice. Now stretch your hands to heaven. You stretched your head, now stretch your hands to let the Lord know that what matters to me is what matters to you. I have an eager expectation. Apokaradokia. My expectation creates my hope. And I don't know what, but I know why. And I can survive the why when I know the why. Lift your hands. Lord, we thank you for the word that you gave us today. We thank you for the instruction that you gave us through Paul. He told us that we got to stretch our heads forward, forward, that we can't do anything about the time that we've lost. We got to forget what's behind us and strain toward what's ahead, that we got to get our eyes fixed on where we're headed, to get our lives headed in the right direction. And I pray it over your people now in Jesus' name, that they would experience this week significant steps forward. Everybody say forward. Forward. Look at me for a moment. I asked a race car driver one time, if you were going to teach one thing about driving that people wouldn't know, what would it be? He said, you've always got to keep your eyes where you want to go. When you're on a track, you tend to look at what you don't want to hit and what you don't want to happen. He said, that will always cause you to crash every single time. What was he talking about? Apokaradokia. Stretch your head forward. Forward. I can just see it this week that you're going to preach this back to the people that you love, and you're going to preach it without words. When they start talking about what went wrong and what's wrong, I just want you to look at them and like a turtle coming out of his shell, just I want moms to do this to your daughter this week. But most importantly, I want you to do it for yourself. I've already been practicing this in my own life as I prepared to preach it to you. And it's amazing how just a quick shift, a stretch of the head, can get you out of discouragement, can get you out of defeat can get you out of despair. Forward. Everybody say forward. That's where I'm looking. I'm looking forward. I can't go into this week like this. I can't go into this week like this. How am I going into this week? I'm going say it. I'm forward. Are there any forward thinkers in the house?